Hello and welcome to UPS Education. Today we are going to talk about how to fill Gate Psychology's uh, Gate Psychology 2026's application form. And so, first of all, what you need to do is uh, open, go to your your browser and search upsteducation.in/updates. Then you need to find the the Gate Psychology Examination Article 2026. And in that article, you can find all the relevant information regarding the exam. You know why this exam is important for a psychology student what is the eligibility criteria for this exam if you are eligible or not if you are an international student so what you need to do for that the exam pattern the application fees the important dates and exam schedule everything you need to know about the gate psychology 2026 exam you can find it in this article okay make sure you uh, read everything and understand everything so that you won't find or face any problems later and uh, yeah so after going through everything you will find a link in this article that will take you directly to the this year's uh, directly take you to the uh, gate psychology 2026's uh, official website and uh, you need to go there and uh, start your application process so click on that link and it will take you dire yeah, directly to the gate 2026 it will be conducted by IIT Guwahati uh, in 2026 so yeah so click on the now you need to click on the application portal that will uh, take you to the application portal and here you need to first register yourself click on register here then you need to enter your uh, name and then your middle name then your surname and after entering uh, your names, uh, uh, it will show you your name in the name of the candidate, candidate section. Make sure you fill in everything uh, correctly. After that, click on confirm and uh, that will uh, take you to the next section. Make sure you have filled in everything correctly. Then click on confirm and uh, it will show you the next section. Now you need to enter your email address. Then you need to confirm your email address by re-entering that same email address after that you need to enter the country of your residence is it india or you are out or if you are if you're living in out of india okay so click on india if you are from india if you are from outside then click on other then you need to enter your mobile number then uh Then you need to create a password or you can uh, use a password that is suggested by Google and use that. Make sure if you use the Google password to save it in the Google password manager. And uh, after, you know, getting your password and confirming your password, enter the CAPTCHA code. After click on that, register. And it will show you if you have done everything correctly your registration is successful okay and uh, it will send some uh, necessary information on your email id that you have filled in then click on uh, continue to and it will take you to the login screen Now you need to enter your login credentials that you got from registration enter your enrollment id you will get it from the email and uh, enter your password and then uh, enter the capture code after that click on login now it will show you your dashboard and uh, you need to if uh, first of all uh, verify your mobile number or your email id it will show you in the lower left corner you need to first of all do that they will send you an otp and you need to fill in that otp to uh, verify your mobile number and email id you can confirm either uh, you don't have to confirm both of them but you need to confirm you, you must need to confirm one of them okay so uh, you can either confirm mobile number or your email id after doing that click on uh, edit application form 
now it will show you your exam section first you need to fill in the exam details like uh, how many papers you are appearing in one or two then you need to if you are appearing in one then select one if you're appearing in two then select two okay then you need to uh, fill in the remaining sections for example what uh, paper one is and then your uh, choice of examination cities okay whichever city will be closer to you will be allotted to you the subject of psychology comes under the humanities and social sciences subject and uh, then you need to select the psychology subject make sure you have filled in everything correctly and if you have then click on continue then you need to fill in the examination city number one then you need to fill in the examination city number two and uh, then you need to fill in examination city number three after filling everything uh, correctly make sure you have fill in, filled in everything correctly then click on save and it will say that your data have been entered successfully and then click on next to go to the next section next section is personal details it will uh, first of all show you your enrollment id which is very important you must need to note it down it will uh, you will also receive this uh, in an email from the gate uh gate 126 so now you need to enter your first name your middle name and your last name then your name will appear uh, in the has it appear in your in the admit card okay and uh, then it will show you your email id and your phone number okay you need to verify either one of them okay you can verify either your email id or your phone number you can verify both of them too but you don't need to do that you, you only need to do one thing okay but you must do one of them then you need to enter your date of birth uh, after that uh, confirm your date of birth then uh, enter your gender then your nationality after that your category then uh, if you are a person with disability or not then your uh, permanent residence and uh, your state whichever state that resident belongs in then your um, photo id and uh, photo id number which means a uh, legal document or id you can you can use any one of these ids okay whatever id you will use you need to provide its number in the next section okay so for example i have chosen the passport so you need to do that and then enter your passport number then you need to enter the name of your parents or guardian and then your relationship then their nationality and uh, the contact number if you've done everything successfully it will show you the show you that your data have been entered successfully then you need to click on next to get on to the next section the next section is address for correspondence now you need to fill in your address and uh, to do that first of all you need to enter the zip code pin code where you live after that uh, you need to enter enter the country the state you live in then your address and the city or town after filling everything correctly click on save and then next now you are on the next section which is called qualifying degree details now you need to enter your uh, academic details which is your uh, you know college details related to your college so first of all you need to enter the college pin code wherever your college was situated in that area's pin code after that you need to fill in the country of uh, in which country that college is situated in and then the state the city or the town where that college is then your roll number then your qualifying degree and uh, after that you need to fill in the discipline of your qualifying degree make sure you fill everything correctly and uh, all the necessary details in every single one of the every single one of these sections and then click on save and uh, after that click on next now you need to fill in your documents uh, your uh, basically you need to fill in your uh, uh, color photograph and then your you need to upload your signature and then you need to upload your uh, id the photo id that uh, you selected before you need to fill in that after that you need to fill in uh, where you get came to know about the gate exam and uh, what your purpose is for applying for the gate exam okay 
After filling all these uh, details and uh, documents, uh, click on save and then proceed to the next section. Now the last section is declaration. You need to read the declaration and click on uh, the checkbox. After that, you need to fill in your e-signatures, uh, which will be your name that you used uh, in the beginning. And then uh, verify your application form. Click on verify your application form. It will download the application form. You need to make sure that uh, everything is correctly filled in. And then uh, after that, click on submit and proceed to the payment. Make sure you have not made any mistake in there because you won't get any chance of correcting that after clicking on it, okay? And now uh, in this page, this is your uh, payment gateway. It will show you uh, show you some uh, uh, rules regarding that and uh, it will show you your enrollment ID, your name and the amount that you need to pay. And the methods you can uh, use to pay that amount, okay? Uh, you need to read and make sure you understand all the terms of payment. Then you need to fill in the CAPTCHA and then click on pay. It will take you to the payment gateway. Here you will need to fill in all your billing information. And uh, after that, you need to select a uh, payment method and make the payment.